Doubles and Coffee Part 9 in the Doubles and Coffee mini series. How we allow PM to do wrong, be wrong, all wrong, and make it seem right. We now have workers, the labor force, fighting and arguing for the 4%. 4%, a disrespectful, disdainful 4% offered by a PNM from a heartless prime minister and a dwen of a minister of finance. It's so wrong, 4% as opposed to Kamala's 14%. But now, somehow, people's fighting and scrimmaging and busting up for the 4% because we accept disrespect. We accept disdain from the PNM. How is it possible that, for example, Petrotrain was up and running, 5,364 permanent workers, another 6,000 daily paid workers, plus contractors and fence line communities and so on. Everybody had work on the camera. Rowley fire all, all, all. And somehow Rowley still there. And no mannequin or Rowley drag around all over the country. And Rowley still there, upheld with the policies of the PNM. How is it that between 2001, 18, 18 into 2010 May, over 156 wage negotiations were left there, even though oil had reached 150 US per barrel in 2004, and the PNM refused to treat labor with respect? But Kamala Prasad Bissessa comes in in May 2010 and between May 2010 and September 2015 concludes 143 wage negotiations giving workers respect, back pay, showing that the workforce and the people are to be respected, appreciated and paid. And yet now we have a Prime Minister Keith Rowley eight years of disrespect for labor all you do you know the minister of labor name and asking all you know tell me quick in the comment don't go and google it you know disrespecting labor treating the workers with total disdain while raising his own salary rowley raise his own per diem as he flies up and down cutting deals and negotiating with ceos from australia to switzerland to Europe, across the border, Canada, USA, USA, up and down into Venezuela, and increases per diem. So while he's negotiating for your assets, we don't know what in all with NDA and secrecy, and he only taking his small pen up and down to negotiate with your asset. We don't know what he's doing, why he's doing it, or where are the benefits. Nothing works in Trinidad and Tobago. Teachers are disrespected. Nurses are disrespected. Daily paid workers and corporations are disrespected. Police disrespected. Army disrespected. Fire officers disrespected. All the workers under the OWTU disrespected. Port workers disrespected. Bank workers disrespected. And you all still tell me about PNM, PNM and Rowley? How is that possible? That something so wrong and so disrespectful could be made right and normal and we accept that and we not vex. We whine and jam. Plenty soca in the calypso now. Answer that for me. And the question is that the soul of our nation, our strength, our character, our ferocious tenacity is being watered down and trickled down by an oppressive, evil, obia man named Keith. Christopher Rowley and the PNM and unless we extricate the PNM from our political tapestry we will continue to be this kind of spineless people who takes abuse and disrespect and then celebrates it and fights for the disrespect fighting for four percent all you serious but you better bring camera yes 14 was always bigger than four bless